Welcome to news at BolivarTech.com. You are invited to subscribe my channel, and your comments are appreciated. Encryption is foundational to the future, the reign of the electromechanical ciphers. After the World War II and during the Cold War, the security in sensitive communications was ruled by electromechanical ciphers. Until the 1950s the World War II the ECM Mark II was used by the NATO, when it was replaced by machines like the KL-7. KL-7 was an electromechanical rotor-based offline cipher machine, developed by the National Security Agency or NSA, and was introduced in 1952 and served for many years as the main cipher machine of the US and NATO. It is basically a more advanced version of the German Enigma machine, but the KL-7 has eight rotors, seven of which are moved in a complex irregular stepping pattern. The machines came in several variations and were used by the US Army, Navy, NATO and foreign affairs for many years. Unfortunately, KL-7 is still a classified item and only few of them have survived. Most machines that are on public display today, have been sanitized and all wiring has been removed. The Rapid Automatic Cryptographic Equipment or RACE is an offline cipher machine, developed by Standard Telephone Og Kabel Fabric in Norway in the late 1970s, as one of the successors to the aging KL-7. RACE was the first high-end cipher machine where the cryptographic algorithms were purely implemented in software. The algorithms were stored in PROMS and the machine was constructed in such a way that up to five algorithms plus a test program could be installed, simply by adding banks of PROMS on one of the machine's circuit boards. Each algorithm, or program as it was called, could be selected from the six-position program selector at the front panel. EPSOM is the default program, which is present on all NATO and US machines. It is compatible with the NATO SIROF standard. Messages created in this mode are formatted in five letter groups according to NATO's ACP 127 standard, just like on Aeroflex. It is approved for all levels of classification. Derby was the Norwegian national SIROF standard, which is similar to but not compatible with EPSOM. IS was probably only released to the Norwegian Armed Forces and National Organizations. It supports two cryptographic keys, each of which provides full message protection, with special features for exclusive messages. It was approved by NATO for all levels of classification. ASCIT is a special program for man-to-machine and machine-to-man communication. It allows the use of one-time pads or OTP or the interoperable pocket size PACE encryptor at the other end. ASCIT was also released to foreign race customers. Edita was the so-called edit a C stent that was developed to help the operator when preparing a punched message tape for online transmission. Edita was also released to foreign users. Although the KL-51 was developed during the early 1980s, some units were still in use in the late 2000s. In 2006, the US Navy was developing plans to gradually replace the remaining KL-51 units with a more modern device that could be integrated with the latest complex data networks, a possible candidate for this replacement is the KIV-7. The M125, codename Fiaca, was an electromechanical wheel-based cipher machine, developed in the USSR and was introduced in 1956 and soon became one of the favorite machines of the Warsaw Pact and some allied nations, such as Cuba. The machine is similar to the American Sigaba, the KL-7 and the Enigma. The original M125 was succeeded by the M125-3 in the mid-1960s and remained in use until the early 1990s. At the heart of each FIACA machine is a drum with 10 different electromechanical cipher wheels or rotors, that move in an irregular manner when entering a message. Each wheel has 30 contacts at either side and is identified by a letter of the Russian alphabet. The M105, codename AGAT, was a Russian offline cipher machine that was developed and built in the USSR in the late 1960s. 
The machines were used by all countries of the Warsaw Pact and the encryption is due by a built-in key tape mixer that was fed with an 11-level punched paper tape with random data. The M105 was succeeded by the fully electronic M205D in 1986 but many M105 machines remained in use until the end of the East Germany. For communication between the East Germany government and Hungary, the M105 was replaced by the T353 or Dudek in 1987. Historic cryptography images courtesy of cryptomuseum.com. Thanks for watch the video and you are invited to subscribe my channel. Your comments are appreciated to help me to know the topics that you want to watch. More interesting contents available at news.bolivartech.com and follow me at my social networks.